So we just left the resort, right? To my beautiful wife. We left the resort and jet skied literally into the middle ocean of the Indian Ocean. Look at this. We are, we found a little island. And we decided, hey, you know what? Let's just stop, you know what I'm saying? Let's just stop for a second. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Welcome back on today's episode on the Jay and Joe show. <laughs> Whatever day you're watching this, it's a great day. Come on. To be here. And so today we are going to be talking about something exciting. Today is story time. Today is story so time. So sit back, relax. If, if you, you got some food, eat some food. We're going to share with you some of our story about how. Some of our story. Oh, a little part of our story. Okay. How we were sipping honey. On the moon. On the moon. We're going to tell you about our honeymoon. Honey on the moon. Tell Come us on. about that. Listen, I don't know who invented honeymoons, but whoever did it, the Lord was definitely God bless you. touching their lives because this uh, this idea of disappearing for yeah. a little bit when you just get yourself a new wife. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's such a, a new wife. You had an old wife. No, no, no. It's uh, it's like a, it's like a. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say, but it's like a, it's a good thing because you've never had it before, so it's new, yeah. Yeah. right? So if I've never had something and I this get it, when you get yourself a wife, but it's new. A new wife means you had a <laughs> no. It's not. I mean, when we travel again, it's gonna be like I'm here with my old wife, <laughs> but she was a new wife on the honeymoon. No, no, guys, tell us, tell us in the comments what you think about. It's this an older statement. wife. How about that? An older. <laughs> Otherwise means a wife who is mukade. No, not not mukade, but I've been with her. She, I, she, she, you know, the whole wife thing your wife. Let's has been an experience. Wife. Anyways, okay, so I came with my your newly wed my newly wed wife. Yes. Yes. So I had my newly wed wife, and before we talk about the honeymoon, it's not just about going; it's about the preparation. Okay. Joan, tell me how I you prepare. How was it a part? How did you prepare for the I honeymoon? I wasn't a part of the honeymoon preparation. I didn't even know where I was going. I didn't even care. Okay. I just wanted to go and have a good time by the beach, wherever that is. Mm. But how I prepared, I make sure that I planned. I packed some. You planned? No, no, no. I packed. I packed some nice clothes. <laughs> you know, not the not the turtleneck. <laughs> Not the bodysuit, whatever. Come on. I packed some nice clothes. Come on. That were fit, appropriate. Fitting, yes, fitting for the honeymoon. Fitting the sun. Hallelujah. The sunny weather. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you no. Know, so preparing. I remember I had saved up a little money, and uh, during that time we were preparing for the wedding, mm -hmm. and I was like, no matter what happens, mm -hmm. I'm not touching my honeymoon. Right we're now. not compromising. Wow. And Joanne was like, where did you say you wanted to go? I want to go to Zanzibar. No, I didn't care. Like, you said whatever, you, I wherever said, the water I, is, Josh, wherever the water, not the black water, the blue water. 
What black? <laughs> that's the lake. The lake between hey, the hey. Yeah. That, that, that's you wanted the, the, wanted the blue water. So what happened is I saved a little bit of money. I, I, I said this before. I went on a, on a website. Um, I put the link here down in the description. But God bless that website. Oh, man. So I was able to get a deal in, uh, in Maldives for, for a great price. And what they were giving me was way much more worth, cost much more than what, what they you cost me. Paid. So yeah, so I remember, I remember I got it and I just, I was, I was actually, when I got it, I was in the States with my dad and I ran out, I was like, dad, you would never believe the deal that I found. And I told him all about it. And he's like, well, okay, cool. I'm proud of you. Let's go, let's go. That's exciting. Cause uh, I had never been to this particular portion of the world. And it's going to be cool to go there, do a thing for the first time with my wife. Anyways. <laughs> with your new wife. <laughs> with my new wife, yes. Uh, so what happened is the wedding is going on. And God bless the wedding. I love, I love the wedding. We love the wedding. The wedding we'll do a story time for the wedding yeah. too one of these days. Yeah. But we love the wedding. But um, in my head, I was just thinking about the honeymoon, honestly. Those weeks of preparation for the wedding... I was just like, can we just get done with this so we can move on to the best part with my new wife? You know what I'm saying? So uh, we pe the wedding finished and then finally it was time. time to go. So the wedding was on Saturday and we we're flying out on Monday. Mind you, I do not have, I have no idea. I don't know. She just walked by faith. She thing. believed. I, I don't know where we're going. Okay. I just have my. No, passport. remember I told you mm -hmm. that we're going to Dubai. Yeah. But how did you get the, these? Like I would have to apply or whatever. Like I had no idea. But I told you we're going to Dubai. Yeah, so anyway, she thought we were going to Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. And I don't like Dubai that much for. Yeah. Let's just say I'm not a very big fan. Dubai is a nice place. Yeah, I don't know what you want to talk about. Anyway, so I told her, I said, babe, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to Dubai. And she's like, okay, cool. Wherever you go, I'm happy, whatever. So we fly, we, we go to the airport and she's expecting to go to Dubai. And then we get to the airport. Mm -hmm. And this was a time during COVID-19. And I thought I had filled out all the required documents. And then at the last second, there was like this yeah, document. There's a document that I didn't fill out. Yeah. So that was requiring every person that was going to, to Maldives, to, Maldives <clears throat> to, fill out. to fill out a paper. Prior. And and that time they were very, very strict. If you did not mm -hmm. have everything, everything in order, they were not gonna let you go. And so I feel I quickly got my phone. Thank God I still had uh, this is at the airport and we're stuck. Yeah, okay. we're stuck. The, the plane's about to leave. Yeah. I ended up like that would be so bad because yeah. we told everyone bye on e like everyone said, okay, these guys are disappearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I remember I got my phone and I started filling it out. And that's how she found out yeah. that we're actually not going to Dubai because the plane ticket, she didn't even touch the plane ticket. The plane ticket, the first flight to get to Maldives was from Dubai, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you had to first get to Dubai. So she thought, okay, we're just going to get to Dubai. I wanted to tell her that the location, the destination is not Dubai when it was time to go, go to from Dubai, Dubai. Mm -hmm. but unfortunately she, someone pooped on the party yeah i didn't i didn't finish this ladies at Entebbe. Mm. but guys we are improving on our customer service slowly <laughs> in Entebbe airport you, you should have seen it in the early 2000s versus now you guys are doing good Entebbe. are they really i just we they're, just heard they're about improving they're improving Stealing from people and lying about that. that. They're but improving. Sweet. Back to the honeymoon. So story. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happened? We go. Let me tell you something. If you think. By the way, in Dubai, Joanne uh, was eating up all the food. What? Yeah, and she just slept and <laughs> enjoyed what herself. Food? In the airport, don't you remember the airport? We had a like ten hour layover. Oh yeah, I hate those yeah. things, man. I, I, really I hate, did. I hate those yeah, layovers. Those are really bad. Anyway, sorry for cutting you off. Yeah. So I mean, if you can't entertain yourself, else you know how else am I supposed to entertain? Eating is a great form of entertainment. If mm. you agree, just comment below. Anyways, so we reach and we go to the Malay airport. If you think the 
Entebbe Airport is like congested and no AC and just sticky. The Mala Airport is times two. The lines were long. <laughs> oh my goodness, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, the lines were long. Doesn't matter, business, whatever it is, you are going to be in that line of is it immigration? Immigration yeah, line. Immigration well, line. Well, the good thing about Malay is like, uh, I mean, Maldives and Malay Airport is that every person is allowed. They give a visa to anybody. Anybody. No matter mm -hmm. who you are, they're gonna give you a visa. So we finally in, and then they take our bags. This is now where the experience really begins. Yeah. The people come, you know, they're ready for us and they take They have our, our names yeah. on the thing. Yeah, and they take us to a, a, a private lounge. Let me tell you, unlimited food. Now, ha. when you talk about food, <laughs> you're calling my name and I had to respond. <laughs> And they had unlimited food, unlimited drinks in this lounge. And girl, I did myself my the due, due, diligence. due diligence. Yes, exactly. And I had fun while we were waiting for the private airport to come pick us airport? up. Airport? The airport private is going to pick plane. us up? Private plane. The airport comes up. and picks us oh, up? Oh, yeah, that too. But the private plane came and picked us up, and it was like well, only 10 people. We, we, the we, the, 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 the thing is, Maldives is a country full of islands. Yeah. So to go from one place to another place, you're literally going to go to another island. Like the airport is just there. And then from the airport to go to the location, you have yeah, to take a plane or a yeah. boat. And so... Yeah, we had a private plane pick us up. And, and then we got back to the, to the hotel. We went to the hotel. And when we reached the hotel, honey, that was great. They uh, welcomed us really well, you know, with the whole customary yeah. thing that they do. And the drink, what drink was that? I think it was like iced tea or something. No, it wasn't iced tea. It was, it was like some tea. It was spicy. It was some tea. I didn't like it at all. Really? Mm -mm. I loved it. I love I love drinks. Yeah. And uh, it's my first night in Maldives for my these drinks, right? I'm doing all this work. But they gave us these drinks and they called, what do they call them? Anyways, they're red in color. They got a little leaf in it. I don't know if you can see that. But I don't know if I like it or not. So we'll see. So it was really nice and different, different. And then they showed us where our rooms were going to be. And then they showed us, you know, the packages that come. The rewards that come with your honeymoon, which includes yeah. the spa thing, and spa so, treatment, exactly. all those things. So they show us all of that stuff, and then we go to our hotel because we were tired. Mm. So we are walking on the bridge. You can't see it. I'll show you in the morning. But over here is literally the Indian Ocean. To the left, in like the black, is the Indian. I don't know. If you, let's just keep quiet in here. Listen. And uh, yeah, what else happened? I'm and that, so that was like the first day, I think, of five days. Or yeah, five days. Yeah, five days, five, five nights. We had five nights. So that was mm -hmm. the first night. Mm -hmm. And then in the morning, actually, before we slept, we went to the food. And <laughs> Joanne has said, I'm hungry again. Guys, again? I'm exposing something. <laughs> yeah, I hope you, you can, get the you thing. You can expose all you want. Oh, my goodness. So we went and get, got more food. And then in the morning... That's when we saw where we were. It was yeah. just a beautiful, it was so beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, the water was just, you know, it was so nice, so light blue yeah. and all of that. I remember that smell. I'm really feeling, the, yeah, the smell of that Maldives, the smell of our honeymoon. I kept some clothes and I just hold on to them. Like, I don't want them, they're clean, but I just want them to, like, hold on dear that way so that the smell doesn't come out. Wow. Cause, yeah. It's just a feeling of peace and and just tranquility and and I just treasure that time. Yeah. So so we decided to just walk on the beach and just skedaddle. Yeah. And have fun. Yeah. With our new, my her new husband mm -hmm. and my new wife and we walked on the beach. Uh, the the ocean is literally right outside of your door. So you step out and you're at the ocean. But you know what? We're so we're such losers. Not losers, like literally, but because we were at the beach, you'd think we'd go out and you know be spend all the time out there. 
we 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 opened the shutters and we're like, oh, that's really pretty, and we're like, whoop. <laughs> Close them back. Close them right back up. Stay indoors all day. The thing about yeah. us, if you know about me and Joanne, we uh we like to stay at indoors. home. Yeah. Like people invite us to go different places and ah uh, yes, we can go, but what you're really thinking about is it's like home. Oh, and yeah. now that we have Judah, we be like we go places and we be like, ah, you know we have to leave. Judah's tired. We yeah. gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go home because of Judah. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's it's uh it was fun. No, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. What was the best activities that you did? Best and very diff well, let me start with the kayaking. Kayaking. Mm. <laughs> So we decided we're like we're not gonna be losers for a long time. Let's go so do let's some activities. Really indulge in the ocean. You know, yeah, let's yeah, try you don't see something. the ocean every let's day. Let's get out of our comfort zone. We don't see this every day. So we said, you know what? Let's go kayaking, jet skiing, and all of the activities, snorkeling, whatever. So the first activity we did was the kayaking, and we they get us on the you know on the kayak and they you know, give us the pedals, and we think like we really got this because people were making it really easy. It's not, and we're in the shallow end. Mm. It's not, and then we see this couple like doing it so synchro. Syn synchronized. synchronized yeah synchronized and we're like oh that that looks easy josh let's do it let's 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 do what they're doing and our temp okay so first of all joanne does not understand um <laughs> should we say motion so i was saying well, left i'm the most right, coordinated left, person you've right ever so you got to swing the paddles together and when you're not doing it together that's the chaos yeah, and teamwork. that's that's why the the the, the, the couple we saw was I it. think that was our first fight. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Joanne, you're hitting it right. Come back this way. I'm like, I'm really trying, okay? Anyways, we tried to go where the couple went, which was towards the deep. The and blue, um, like the dark blue side. Because we were not coordinating, this is a lesson for people. When you do not coordinate with your significant other, the ship, which represents your life, or your okay. shared life, Tips over. Capsizes. <laughs> so we capsized mm -hmm. in our boat. Joanne was going this way. I was going this way. I was trying to lead. She was doing her own thing. And pop. Whee! And it was so bad because now we're in the water. And the, this is our ocean, right? So the waves come. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, yeah. Whoop, whoop. It's entering the kayak. It enters the kayak. So Joanne, I said, Joanne, get back on there. I can't get Joanne back is on. trying to get on. It falls back, back on. In. Now, now it's, it's starting to sink because there's water. water in it. And we can't drain it. And then we're like, oh my gosh, we're going to die. And then I was oh, there's more wind. Come up. <laughs> it so was, guess what, guys? We walked with a kayak back to the shores. Exactly. We had to pull it all the way back. Yeah. And I said, Joanne, this is your fault. That was a terribly fun but terrible experience. It was embarrassing because this was, it was so <laughs> embarrassing. Because everyone looks at and says, look at these guys. What are they doing? Because it was out, out in the open. Yeah. Everyone sees. And you're like, that is not how you're supposed, supposed to be. <laughs> be doing something. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. And then for me, the, 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 another fun thing was the jet skiing. I was about to... The jet skiing was fun. But the, I had an issue. Mm. Uh, well, the guy who was leading us. So what happens is, like, the, we jet ski across the entire, the, the entire ocean. And there's a guy who's, like, supposed to take us to a place, right? He's supposed to lead us, and we're supposed to follow. So I'm, 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 I'm riding, and then Joanne is behind me. And, Obviously. And, and, and the same one. So we're, yeah. we're on the same thing. We're not taking two different ones. And so I'm supposed to follow this guy. And I'm following him. I'm going as fast as I can. I don't want to increase the speed because there's Joanne behind me. I'm, I'm new. There's waves. We're going like this. And so I'm just like, all right, I'm Maybe going. you haven't done it in a uh, while. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going a decent speed. But this guy in front of me is going 150,000. all the time. Anyways, so he's going so fast. And before I know, he just dips under and I don't see him anymore. He goes so fast, so far ahead. The horizon. And when I look to my left, it's like and I look to my right, I was like, we're in the middle of the ocean. Okay. I don't see islands, I don't see land, I don't thing. see boats, I don't see anything. I said, Joanne, hold close. <laughs> and we're like, so we started just, I started just slowly going. I'm like, I That's hope, it. I hope I'm going in the right way yeah. because I don't want to go farther out into the ocean. And that is the point I realized, man, 
the ocean is big. Like yeah. we think life is, our problems are huge, but we're such a small speck Minute. in the universe yeah. and, and under what God has created. It's like such a small, our life existence doesn't even regulate on the scale. I looked at the expanse of the waters. I said, my goodness, if me and Joe disappeared now, would just be a fish you know like <laughs> anyways luckily for us the guy came back found us and then he slowed down and took us to the to the right spot there was a small island yeah and then joanne finally got the chance to ride i was like you know what this is easy okay she's like josh why don't you why, why don't, don't you, you catch go faster <laughs> she, she kept tapping me on the shoulder josh go faster yeah. you're losing him josh i said i here try. and and in me saying you know go faster i am shaking in my boots like i am so scared really but yeah i was really scared but i'm like go faster so you're putting the pressure yeah, on Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, I'm, I'm scared that it, it, we're going fast, too fast. Like, we can, you know, capsize. But I'm also scared that no one's there. Like, no one's if we lose, If we lose right. a guy, we yeah, might get we lost. Might. So yeah. I had to choose wh which fear was more priority. You know? Okay. So I reached the mini island, like, our little destination. And I'm like, hand over that jet <laughs> I run this place okay. and I got on, you know, because if you know me, I'm a fast driver in the normal. In the, uh, in the, she's a the Ugandan road. driver. I'm, I'm, I'm fast. In the Don't road. trust her. I have with a heavy children, foot, bro. but I no, 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 Josh, I'm a very careful driver. Ah, tell that to your passengers who survived. Yeah. I know Jack is watching this. You know I'm a great driver. Okay, okay. Anyways, so I get on and I'm like, let's go. It's shallow, we're not gonna die, you know. And I go so fast. And I'm like, Joanne, slow and down. I'm like, this is the thrill that I need. You have not been doing it the right way. <laughs> you have been playing around with this. We came here to experience something and you're not doing it right. So let me show you how you okay, do it. Okay, Get on. Okay, okay. And Josh gets on and I go like, like, just as fast as you I can. You know care. when you're making a turn in a car, you have to brake and slow down so that you can turn? Mm -hmm. So Joanne is just... No, you say brake and I like no. brake heavily. Joanne, you were just going around full throttle, just going and making turns. You get to a place and then you turn. Wait, let's say it was fun for you, wasn't it? It was not fun for me. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I really, I was like, this girl's gonna <laughs> kill me. Last prayer. I was like, Lord. I was, I was having fun. Oh my okay, goodness. Until that corner that was not doing what I was saying. Anyways, so what happened is she makes a corner and we fall into the water. Again, who? <laughs> Joanne's fault. <laughs> yeah, we fall into the water and I lose my glasses. And it was fun though. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I had fun. Honeymoon was a great time, and it was a it was it was a start of our life together for for years for years, and that's what made us decide that we want to always take an opportunity yeah. to go and experience yeah. something something new together mm -hmm. that we have never experienced before. Correct. And, and it doesn't matter your budget; it doesn't matter the amount that you can spend. You can spend. What one thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars, but you can go out and experience something somewhere. If it's going to uh, to a village, I remember my mom used to take me to the village to just go and and it was a, and it was an experience. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if we do not go out, we are robbing our lives. We're robbing ourselves of experiencing everything. Yeah. Don't get stuck in what you know all the time. Yeah. This is my city. I moved two two feet this way. I turned this way. This is my work. So you only know work and home, work and home, and some other places, but you haven't even experienced life. And you don't need a lot to mm. really experience. You don't, you don't, you don't. Yeah. Mm. And like you said, like if it's in the village, as long as you can even do solo, but if with your significant other, I do your significant you have, other. I know, but I'm, I mean, treat yourself. It's good to treat you single people. Treat yourself. You know, mom, value yourself. My mom taught me you can take a trip by yourself and have the best. Oh, for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. So whatever it is, if that singles. significant others is not there, you can definitely take a trip to yourself. Make that a, a habit. You know, a lifestyle. Like a lifestyle, exactly. Like every year decide, I'm going to do something different. Yeah, yeah. If that means I'm gonna, going on a bus to Nairobi, mm -hmm. yeah, let me go. Let me save let up me my save money. Up for it. And I'm going to go and, and, and try something different. Yeah. And other than living in the same place as 
you've mm-hmm. always been. Yeah. And that experience is gonna it's gonna enrich your life. It's gonna yeah. give you memories. It's gonna draw you closer to your significant other. Mm-hmm. And also, if you're like us, you're gonna get a baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honeymoon, honeymoon, man. Honeymoon. That's why we got baby. Yeah, Judah. but it doesn't have to be like the popular thing. People think it's like has to be in the water, whatever. You take me to the village with Josh, we're still gonna have a great. We're gonna time. have a honeymoon. Yeah, like, we're gonna like, have a good time. Yes, the the flashy things are yeah. nice, but the best thing is the wife. Mm-hmm. Mm. And you guys experiencing and learning from that together and coming up coming out of it because also in new areas you yeah. get to see a new version right, right, of your of right. the person that you're with you're like yeah. hmm i didn't know that about you i did not know that joanne uh does not listen to instructions so i have to discipline <laughs> i kind of rebel <laughs> i didn't know joanne was rebellious <laughs> i saw joanne's competitive side she's like Look at that. when you saw those couple just going she's like josh we can do it too let's go into the world i said joe this is there's, there's levels to this. It was not fun. It was like us just getting. We were, but we were growing. Anyways, so we Josh, had a good time. would you rather um, spend more on the wedding than on the honeymoon, or vice versa? <sighs> I believe the wedding is important. Yeah. But I believe life after the wedding, wedding. is more important. Yeah. So like a honeymoon, um, your house, house, yeah, um, your living car. Mm-hmm is more important and we have a society that everyone just spends so much money on, on the, the wedding. wedding and they're like after it they're like done and what i was like guys tomorrow <laughs> guys guys you could have a good wedding but what are you gonna do after yeah and uh it's it's better to not overextend yourself mm. and i've seen people overextend themselves trying to do a good wedding and then life after is terrible mm-hmm. but i'm like guys if you i would rather when i start my life with my new significant other is a it's a flow it's not a debt trying to pull me down yeah because life after is what's more important actually josh and i have this is a side note but Mm. josh and i have transitioned in the way we support uh couples and newly people who are going to be newly weds Mm. we don't really give to the wedding we give to them after the wedding and so because we know what that holds it because yeah. everyone's gonna disappear and you're like all those people who are giving on the wedding are yeah. gonna disappear yeah. and you're gonna have all these bills and yeah. you're gonna say man i wish i could mm-hmm. and you don't even know where you're gonna stay you don't have spoons and knives in your house and you know you, you don't have a yeah. fork to eat man <laughs> yeah but let's plan for life after meaning starting from the honeymoon it's going uphill um, yeah. after that i i i something that we say is that the the marriage is always better than the wedding. Mm-hmm. The wedding is one day. The marriage is sixty years. Yeah. And so I've seen people spend everything on a wedding, mm-hmm. and the marriage is terrible. Focus on the marriage, and that's why honeymoon. I say I ain't touching this money. I'm not putting this money on my wedding at all. Yeah. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Actually, I only paid for the venue. That reminds me of your dad. He tells that story. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, let's tell it now. So, so my dad said he saved his money, you know, back in the day. People kept giving him for the wedding. Uh Uh Uh-huh. But he put, he he, he took some and he put it on the honeymoon for him and and Pastor Eve. And and they went to Nairobi on a bus. Yeah. Boy, but this is in 19, what, 1991? When they get married. 19... It's 33 years, so probably 1991. 1991. Yeah, 1991. So this this young, I can imagine him. He said, you know what? Whatever happens at the wedding, let it happen. But I'm going to take my wife on a honeymoon. Yeah. And he said he went to Nairobi. Yeah. And yeah. And which he didn't was, really care about the wedding. He, he dressed nice and whatever, but the honeymoon and yeah. the life after. Yeah, he saved yeah. up. They had food in the house after. You know, he was a preacher at that yeah. time. And he had couches in the house. He had couches in the house, you know. And being a preacher, there's not a lot of money yeah. that comes in. You don't, there's no like, you know, I have a salary. So yeah. he decided that he's going to gonna, invest, to in, invest life in life after. So he used the, the money for the wedding. He used it for life after. And for someone who's watching, that might be a good thing for you to do. Yeah. Anyways. It was fun. Until next time. Thank you for listening to our story. And uh, yeah. 
Tune in next time. We love you. God bless you. Bye.